Hello my friends, this is Gezi Muzzy and I have another tutorial for you. This is going to be Gezi's Tips episode 6. I think, I think, I think I write. So yeah, hey guys, it's Gezi Muzzy and pretty much in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get aligned paper text behind your um, text. I don't know what to say, that was a bit tongue twister. So pretty much it's just a text and then it's going to have a lined paper effect behind it. So if you're wanting to know how to do it, uh, stick in for the tutorial and come on a journey through out of the path <laughs> no, um, so pretty much just make a f um, new project and that's what you're going to want to put the text in or whatever you're going to do so after that you're going to want to file open this white paper jpeg I will be uploading a file let me find the file paper and tape there we go uh, that file will be up on gamefront uh, I'll give you guys that file for you guys to use at your own pleasure and necessary for this tutorial. So, um, make a new text, actually yeah, you open it up and you make a new text on here, I'm going to use Gezi Muzzo for tutorial purposes only, just in case someone tries to copy my tutorial, they have my name in it, so ha ha ha, suck to you if you touch copy my tutorial. So yeah, um, so once you've got that, you're going to want to click, or oh, click on that, hold it and you want to make sure magic wand tool is selected so once it is you can highlight that and take your finger off, your finger off the left click but your finger off the left click button so pretty much you just want to select it all so right click uh, add to selection right click add to selection right click add to selection add to selection add to selection add to selection there is another tool you can use but it's harder well really I don't know I just feel like this one I like the long way so pretty much you're going to want to select it modify expand and you're going to want to expand it by 20 pixels because that's a good size so it will expand about like this now next is pretty easy if you know your Photoshop boundaries you're going to want to right click on the font uh, the thing over here, right click and rasterize type so that will make it able to merge down onto your background and then after that you can control exit to cut it or you can either go to edit and cut, control x there so pretty much once you've done that, whoopsie doses, excuse me so um, control v or if you're cheap um, edit and paste and pretty much there you have it there's your text well there's that file we just made and if you want to make it look cooler um, we'll just add a little background to this we'll put that there actually no we want that put that there and file place and this other file will be in the pack I'm uploading it is tape to stick it to the background. Uh, of course you're going to want to enter it and put it in front so it looks better and you can adjust the size of it, do whatever you want, make it look cooler and yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you guys later. Files will be in the description. This has been Gezi Mezzi. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want more Photoshop tutorials comment below. If you want Sony Vegas tutorials comment below. If you want After Effects tutorials comment below. This has been Gezi Mezzi. I'm out. Peace.